An armed robber wearing a surgical ski mask is on the run tonight after holding up a mountain bank. Happened just before 2 o'clock this afternoon at the Wells Fargo in Laurel Park. News 13's Megan Shearing is live for us there tonight. Megan, officers say this is the town's first armed robbery in almost a decade. That's right, Darcel. This is usually a quiet community, but today a man walked into this bank, pulled out a gun, and demanded money from the teller. Take a look. This is the man Laurel Park Police are looking for. Monday afternoon, he walked into the Wells Fargo on Brevard Road and pulled out a gun. And before he could start making his demands to the teller, he had to get Bill Throuk held out of his way. He came up and he leaned his shoulder in, so I backed up. Surveillance pictures show the man wearing a surgical mask. Flipped a, a, a bag out with one hand and a small revolver in the other hand. Hold the, the teller said, put the money in the bag and hurry. Throckow says it was hard for him to believe that there was a gunman standing right in front of him. So he looked at the teller and asked her if this holdup was for real. I asked her, is this a bank test? Are you, are you running this to test? She, she looked at, I smiled big and she smiled back because she didn't know either. She got the message when he said, put the money in the bag and showed her the pistol. She put the money, opened the cash drawer, he could see it. She took the money out, put it in the the little sack he had, he just took it, headed toward the same door he came in and made the statement, don't look at me through the glass, I may turn and shoot. Authorities say the robber could be Hispanic. I would say about 5'10", maybe 180, 190 pounds, a little bit on the stocky side. And that he was seen in a blue Mercedes driving on Highway 64 toward Transylvania County. And as we come back out here live, you can see there is a note alerting customers that they had to close it unexpectedly today due to an emergency. I'm being told by a, a spokesperson for Wells Fargo that the bank will reopen tomorrow. Now, as far as this investigation goes, if you have any information that can help Laurel Park police find this suspect, you're asked to call them at Crime Stoppers at 697-STOP. Reporting live in Henderson County tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.